Today we're going to make a bike rack out of iron pipe. The majority of this structure will be made out of 3 quarter inch diameter black iron pipe. The one exception is this reducer fitting which goes from 2 inches on the sides to 3 quarter inches on the top. I used my Maker brand clamps to clamp the fitting down to my sawhorse and then began cutting along the lines that I drew with a silver sharpie with an angle grinder. It's not hard to cut straight lines with an angle grinder. You just go slow at first to establish a groove and then you just follow that groove all the way through. The cuts were really clean but the edges were a bit sharp so I switched to a flat disc and rounded over the edges. One of the things I really love about these entry level metal projects is they take advantage of the angle grinder's versatility. It's really cool that you can use the same tool to both cut and smooth. Getting the labels off of pipes can be kind of a pain, but I came up with a really good system. I just scrape off the majority of the sticker. I then poured acetone onto a scrub sponge and scrub the little remaining pieces of sticker right off. This works way better than using a rag because the sponge really holds the acetone, whereas with the rag, it evaporates really quickly. It's common for longer pieces of pipe to have this waxy black paint coating. This same technique works really well to remove that. Acetone is a really effective cleaner, but it's also a very toxic substance, so I probably should have been wearing gloves the whole time. The bike is going to be cradled by the T-fitting that I cut open, but I don't want to scratch the frame, so I'm going to line it with some 1 8 inch thick felt. I use crazy glue gel to glue the felt to the iron. I selected the gel over the traditional crazy glue because it's a little bit thicker and it sort of bridges the gap between the threads and the felt. So while I'm waiting for the glue to cure, let me tell you about the sponsor for this video, Fracture. Fracture can take your favorite photos and print them directly onto glass. I'm taking some of my favorite photos from our stay in Joshua Tree and making some Christmas gifts for my parents. Just go to FractureMe.com and upload photos directly from your computer. You can edit, adjust, crop, and even add filters to the photos, as well as select from a variety of different size pieces of glass that you want to print them on. Printing on glass is awesome. It comes out really crisp and clean. The colors are bright. The contrast on the black and white are really sharp. And what I like best is that it has a clean, minimal look that doesn't need a frame. They even include the screw you need to mount them, and it's really easy. To learn more about Fracture, click on the link in the description box below. All right, now we're ready to assemble the rack. I just screwed the pieces together, and don't worry, I'll put a full list of all the pipes that I used in the description box below. After locating a stud behind a drywall, I screwed the rack to the wall using drywall screws. They have blackheads, so they match the pipe fittings well. The frame of the bike fits right into the T-fitting and the whole thing balances nicely. I use the pipe that points up as a place to store my bike helmet. This is an easy, efficient, one-day build, but I thought about adding another shelf up above. So I unscrewed the structure and then added more pipes that could support a shelf. I used a small level to make sure that all the pipes were getting installed nice and straight. For the shelf, I just cut a piece of 3 quarter inch thick oak. Now I could just place this oak right onto the pipe and then use pipe straps to attach it, but I wanted to do something a little bit more custom. I drilled some 1 and a quarter inch diameter holes along the center of a piece of oak. I then ripped the oak in half using a table saw. I chopped up the pieces with the miter saw until I had four pieces that I could align nicely along these half holes. And then I trimmed the ends at an angle so that they were all even. I did a quick test fit and marked the location so I'd know where to glue these supports to the board. I applied glue and then put some weights on them to hold them nice and firm. You could also screw down from the top of the board if you wanted them to be extra strong. Once the wood glue had cured, I lightly sanded the whole shelf with 150 grit sandpaper. Now my go-to favorite finish now for wood is called Maker Brand Simple Finish. This is a company that I'm a co-owner in and we developed this finish specifically for DIYers. It's plant-based, low VOC, and really easy to apply. You just take a rag, apply a real thick coat, wait 15 minutes, apply another thick coat, and then rub it all out. The shelf fits on nicely and boom, there you have it, additional storage. This isn't the first bike rack that we've built, so be sure to check out our website, homemade-modern.com. And if you're interested in other beginner level metalworking projects, check out these videos here.
If you want to see what we're working on next, follow us on Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.